Welcome to a new interview of Big Eye Video. My name is Konstantin Janke and today's topic is the new mega trend CBD. We talk about why CBD is interesting for investors and how Dan Foxman with his company Thai Freeze Dry is going to change the market. Stay tuned. Dan, you are the owner of the company Thai Freeze Dry, which has received numerous awards for its groundbreaking freeze drying technology. Bef uh, we will talk about Thai Freeze Dry later in the video, but first, why did you choose to invest in Thailand? Uh, to be honest, I came to Chiang Mai in 2002 to retire and uh, completely failed at retirement. Um, I got bored after uh, six months and I looked around at the way they were processing these wonderful herbs that, that grow here in the vicinity and decided that we could do a much better job of that. And so um, uh, that's what, that was my main incentive to, to do this. It was less about uh, making money than it was uh, sort of an act of love. Um, uh, the first time I visited Thailand was in 1971 and uh, came back many times after that just because I enjoyed uh, Thailand uh, so much and thought it would be a fabulous place to retire. Little did I know that I would be working harder than ever <laughs> at this point and uh, enjoying uh, very much doing that. Um, I had a Thai freeze-dry company in the United States and uh, decided that with the beautiful herbs that grow here, uh, we could uh, use those skills to process these herbs in a much better way than was uh, happening in the uh, We are very much uh, ahead of the neighboring countries in this region. And uh, so this uh, was a perfect place to, uh, to start this uh, project. And also we, ne we need to be very, very near the herbs that we would intend to process. So even Bangkok would be too far away. We decided to be in Chiang Mai, to be in the foothills where these herbs grow right at our doorstep. Interesting. How will the Thai economy develop in the next years? What are the advantages and disadvantages for investors? Yeah, the Thai economy is actually very strong now. The Thai bot is very strong, almost too strong. Um, for export purposes, but uh, we're, you know, we're doing very well here. Uh, the infrastructure, as I said, is excellent. We expect Chiang Mai to play a very major role in the ASEAN economic uh, community, which comprises of 10 nations here in the Southeast Asian area. Uh, Thailand is certainly, and specifically Chiang Mai, is going to be a focal point of, of this uh, ASEAN community, which is going to really drive uh, the economy forward. And um, it's great to be in the part of the world that's blossoming and growing. Uh, and uh, that's one of the reasons that uh, I, I love it here. It's a very positive and, and it's a very uh, forward going um, economy. There's so much left to be done that hasn't been done yet. It's a very positive economy and now comes CBD, a very positive new market. What is the status quo in Thailand on CBD? Uh, the status quo here is that this is still moving forward very steadily but very slowly. Um, they don't want to lose control as has happened in other nations. Uh, they want the cannabis industry here to be basically Thai controlled and owned. They're resisting foreign ownership to a large degree because they want this to be something uh, good for the uh, uh, Thai people. And uh, they don't want to be swept into the situation that other nature, other countries have experienced when they rushed in, we call the green rush, and just jumped into this thing and uh, sort of got ahead of the regulations and uh, it created a very confusing, I would have to say, a mess and uh, so Thailand is pretty much determined to go slowly and steadily. Uh, the Boom Jai Thai Party, which was the political party that uh, gained a great deal of public support in the recent elections, is part of the ruling coalition right now. And the head of this uh, cannabis party is now the Minister of Public Health, and he's also the uh, vice, uh, 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 the uh, 
he's the uh, uh, vice prime minister as well. And so the progress here is really steady. Um, hemp is now legal, but you need to have licenses. And the government institutions, including the uh, top universities, are all involved in conducting extensive research in all areas of the uh, cannabis industry. Uh, there are no dispensaries here. Uh, people with medical needs um, helped by cannabis can obtain a doctor's prescription and go to a hospital to get, um, uh, to get a cannabis. And it can be a combination of CBD and THC. Um, it's produced by the government, uh, the government processing office at this point in time. But uh, the um, and they're looking they're looking now for Thai citizens to actually start growing hemp in their backyards or wherever they can, uh, because there's a lack of supply of raw materials here uh, to supply the demand right now. But the end game is absolutely going to be exports. And so they're definitely moving in that direction. Thailand is an agricultural economy, although it's trying to diversify. And so um, cannabis is certainly going to play a, a, a major a role here. But it, like I said, it's, it's, it's not going to become a bubble. Uh, Thailand has the perfect natural conditions for growing a cannabis year-round and a long history of traditional medical use of cannabis. Um, uh, if you read The Wealth of Nations, written in 1776, uh, uh, um, basically what it says in the uh, preamble is that Scotland can grow grapes using techniques like using hotbeds, etc. And from these grapes, it can actually produce a decent quality wine at about 30 times the cost of the same quality wine that would be produced in a country that has the perfect natural conditions for the basic principle, I think, is still valid. Uh, Thailand has really got the perfect uh, climate and, and the perfect history to engage in the cannabis industry. Um, so it is moving forward slowly and steadily and under control. Thailand is moving forward steadily on CBD. Are other Asian countries also moving forward? Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the other Asian countries in, in our neighborhood are, you know, to a large extent, uh, military dictatorships, and they can make decisions very quickly, but they can change their decisions very quickly also. In terms of actual uh, regulations, Thailand is quite far ahead of the neighbors, and we expect them to follow, uh, to follow pretty much in, in our lead. Yeah, but how is the pharma lobby reacting to this new trend? Well, all I can say to the pharmaceutical lobby is they're not going to beat this thing. If you can't beat us, join us. Yeah. Um, uh, the uh, medical benefits of cannabis are being uh, uncovered, you know, more and more and being clarified more and more daily. So this is not something that is um, that this is not something that's going to be able to be stopped. Uh, and the implications for big pharma are pretty serious. Um, my guess is that um, they will invest in cannabis. Uh, the other thing that's happening, which is interesting, is there are now projects underway for the production of man-made uh, CBD, synthetic CBD. And this is a pattern that big pharma tends to uh, follow uh, over and over again. So we're going to have to see how that, um, how that uh, develops. It's still in its early stages. It's still in its early stages. Do you think Thailand is going to be the Asian hub for CBD? Yes, the, uh, the Thai government in here, very, they're going to uh, help move us in, in that direction. And it is in an ex Thailand is in an excellent position uh, for the reasons that we talked about above to lead the way in Southeast Asia's uh, cannabis uh, industry. So yes, I think we'll definitely be a, a leader here. The history, um, the absolutely perfect growing conditions, etc., as we've discussed, make it so. How does your company Thai Freestyle contribute in the CBD market? 
Well, it's interesting is people don't usually, uh, it, you know, uh, connect freeze drying with cannabis. Uh, you know, the processing for cannabis is basically extraction technologies. Um, but uh, freeze, freeze drying is the best way that we know to preserve the uh, medicinal benefits of removes water and only water, um, but with no exposure to heat at any point in the process. And this heat can damage many of the healthy active compounds that we're trying to uh, preserve. Um, however, conventional freeze drying is quite slow, quite expensive, and production is very low. It's got a very low level of productivity. So to meet this challenge, what uh, we've done here uh, in the last 15 years um, is we have developed a new premium freeze dry process that we call cellular fraction line technology. And rather than placing the product on trays and putting the trays into the uh, product chamber, like perhaps you would put trays into a baker's oven, um, what we've done is we've created a machine where the product is literally flying around in a vortex while it's freeze drying. And what that does is it increases the exposed surface area to sublimation, which is the process by which we dry the herbs while they're frozen. And this increases the rate of heat exchange, this ex extremely increased surface area, increases the rate of, of heat exchange, and we can uh, produce much larger quantities, much faster, and much drier. And at the same time, uh, the movement of the frozen particles and the sublimation of the ice structure holding the particles together is causing them to fall into a beautiful fine powder without mechanical grinding, which is helps to preserve the cellular and molecular structure and creates a um, particle structure that's naturally broken up along the elemental fracture lines and it's much easier for your body to absorb and metabolize this kind of particle. So look, the chemical analysis is very important. You know, um, you've got this much vitamin C and I've got this much vitamin C. Sure, that does make a difference. So the chemical analysis is a valid analytical tool, but it's not the complete story. Equally important is how do these active compounds interact with your body's adaptive systems? Can you absorb them? Can you metabolize them? Or are they simply going in one end and out the other without having done much good? And because of this particle structure that's created by cellular fraction line technology, which is our process, um, it's way easier for your body to absorb and metabolize uh, the, the, the product. And so we get a stronger and more experiential uh, result, which people can see and feel. Um, so uh, we feel very good about combining freeze, our freeze-dry technology with extraction, as well as with our sprouting uh, process. We've built very sophisticated sprouting machines. And with these three technologies, we can do more parts of the cannabis plant, we can take more parts of the plant and use them effectively to create high value than any one of those technologies alone could produce. So our new factory complex, which we're long into building now, it's, it's moving ahead very well, um, will use all three technologies in combination with one another to make much higher value in terms of what we can process from cannabis or very interesting approach you're planning to go to the stock exchange in the next year how can potential investors find out more about uh, you and get in touch with you yeah well what, what we're doing right now at this moment is we're kind of we need a few more weeks we're reorganizing our assets to be under tie freeze dry Uh, right now, Thai Freeze Dry has no debts except to myself. Okay, we're completely self-financed, but it still appears as a debt on the books. So we're in the process of um, converting that debt to equity. 
and the land upon which the corp uh, the new factory complex is being built is owned by another corporation which my family owns 80% of but the land is also being brought into Thai freeze dry um, as an asset so we're working now in the next two weeks to make Thai freeze dry much more investor uh, friendly and uh, planning as soon as this new factory complex is complete and up and running to feel very confident about um, going into the uh, stock uh, market. So that information will be forthcoming shortly, but we don't want to jump ahead of our uh, ahead of ourselves there. Um, we're getting ready for uh, being able to, let's say, uh, create a more investor friendly profile using our existing assets by getting them all under uh, Thai freeze dry. Uh, our global vision is to, once this factory is complete and up and running with all three technologies, extraction, freeze drying, and sprouting, is this will become a blueprint, a blueprint for global expansion, uh, herbal resources. And uh, this will serve as the, the model uh, for global expansion via joint ventures whereby Thai Freeze Dry maintains control of the technology but partners up with uh, 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 participants in other countries that want to uh, be able to do the things that we'll be able to do uh, with this new factory complex and the combination of all three technologies. That sounds like amazing times ahead. Oh, it's, it's, it's coming. <laughs> This, this, this is actually uh, evolutionary. We're going to be able to do some really interesting things. Uh, uh, for example, what are they doing with the, with the cannabis roots now? Basically, they're not doing anything. They're throwing the roots away or using them as mulch. Well, traditionally, the cannabis roots were boiled in water and used as pain relief. Um, so there is, it takes some research, but there's some real potential there, perhaps in using the roots, which are not used at all. You wouldn't use extraction technology for that. Uh, um, hemp seeds can be sprouted. A sprouted freeze-dried hemp seed powder would be an amazing improvement of just hemp seeds. When you sprout the product, it becomes much more easy to digest and the nutritional profile and enzyme profile are greatly improved by the sprouting process. Um, that only requires sprouting and freeze-drying and no extraction at all. Um, we will um, take the extracts with their super high level of concentrated ingredients, which is a real positive thing, um, but combine them back into the whole food powders that we create in our freeze dry process, which have only removed water. Everything else in these two um, schools of thought uh, fighting each other for shelf space, which they've been doing for the last 60 years. We're going to take the extracts and the advantages there and the advantages of uh, freeze drying, which gives you the full spectrum. And we're going to combine the two together in what we call potentiated cannabis. Uh, there's all kinds of things that we're going to be able to do um, that extraction technology alone can't do so it's very exciting uh, for us we're working with a number of universities on different projects um, uh, and um, you know it's just very it's just very exciting um, we're breaking new ground and we'll be able to get high value from parts of the cannabis plant that are presently either not used at all or underused so we we feel pretty good about this <laughs> Amazing. Thank you for the interview, Dan. I can highly recommend to check out your website, thaifreestry.com, for more information. It is a technology the world really needs, and I'm grateful to be able to spread the word. 